My name is Giselle Kalenic, and I'm a lead statistician at the University of Michigan's Center for Statistical Consultation and Research. In today's tutorial, I'm going to cover coding queries in InVivo. To start, I'll navigate to my InVivo project. We want to be sure that in Navigation View, we're on the Queries tab and within the Queries folder. To create my new query, I'll right-click in the white space in List View and select New Query. Here, I'd like to run a coding query, so I select Coding. The first thing I'd like to do is add this query to my project. I'll select the Add to Project button and call this Coding Query 1 Simple. Next, I'll click on Coding Criteria. Coding queries ultimately are simply looking at the codes that we've put into our InVivo project, the nodes that we've coded, or the different attribute values that we've put into our project. Here, with a simple coding query, I'm looking for one node or one attribute. To demonstrate, I'll hit the Select button for Node. Here, maybe I'm interested in understanding more about what people have to say about jobs and cost of living in this project. So the node of interest will be jobs and cost of living, and then I'll select OK. I can search within all sources or selected items. Here, I'm going to hit selected items and the select button. By default, InVivo is going to look within all of my sources, but maybe I'm only interested in InVivo looking for this node of interest, jobs and cost of living, within my actual interviews. I can go ahead and click OK. Also keep in mind that if I was interested in restricting my query to information created by certain people or modified by certain people, I could do so. Here I don't want to do that. Next, what I need to do is identify what I'd like in Vivo to do with my results. By default, under Query Options, InVivo is only going to let me preview my results. Usually, I like to save results from these types of queries as a new node. So I'll select Create Results as a new node, and the name given to the new node by default is the same as the name that I gave when I added this uh, query to my project. The default location is in the Results folder over here. Also, by default, InVivo is not going to spread the coding. So when I look for any node coded at Jobs and Tourism, it's only going to show me the information that was coded exactly at Jobs and Tourism. I want InVivo to open the results for me and open them even if the results are empty. I'm going to go ahead and click OK to save this new query to my project. When I'm ready to run this query, I can right-click and select Run Query. InVivo pops up and identifies the results of my query. These are all of the references that pertain to jobs and cost of living within my interviews for this project. When I close out of these results, I can look in the results folder and also see that my coding query number one, a simple coding query results, have been saved. If I'd like to run an advanced coding query, I can do so by right-clicking again in the white space of list view and selecting coding query. I want to add this query to my project. I'll call it Coding Query 2 Advanced. Under Coding Criteria, I want to click on the Advanced tab. And this is where I can look for the intersection of multiple nodes at a time in InVivo. I'm looking for maybe the overlap of two nodes maybe positive attitude and jobs and tourism. If I select coded at, which is the default, and all selected nodes, and hit the select button, 
I can identify all the references that were coded at both positive attitude and jobs and cost of living. I need to remember to add this to my list. So now I'm looking for content coded at all of these nodes. So in order for this query to have a result, someone must have a positive attitude when talking about jobs and cost of living. Again, I can restrict my search in terms of what sources or who has modified them. Under Query Options, I'd like to create the results as a new node and leave everything else as default. If I go ahead and click OK, I've added it to my project. To run it, I can either double click or right click and select Run Query. All of these references are references where individuals had a positive attitude when talking about jobs in this project. This concludes our first tutorial on coding queries using InVivo.